Hello everyone, it is your friendly neighborhood gaming weasel back again with another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about Kuva Liches, the full Kuva Lich guide, not counting sisters. Uh, we're just doing Kuva Liches in this video, a full detailed in-depth guide on how to farm, get your first Kuva Lich inside a Warframe, what you need to do, how it works, what weapons and Warframes recommend you use, and so on and so forth. So, first things first, what are Kuva weapons? Kuva weapons are better grenier weapons uh, or upgraded variants of the ordinary weapon type. But these weapons uh, have a maximum level of 40 compared to ordinary weapons that have 30. You need to apply 5 form on them and then you will max them out at, of course, rank 40. Now, uh, there's 19 different Kuva weapons. I don't know the exact list. Uh, there's a lot of them. Uh, so, definitely, I know there's exactly 19. I don't know what exactly 19 which did of their names yes are they uh, but you have it on the screen probably right now and if not on the screen you have uh, a wiki page down below and you can check it out there now what mission do i recommend to get your kuva lich to spawn and what do you need for your kuva lich to actually spawn first things first you need a kuva larveling you get a kuva larveling and I think it is the best location to actually farm up a Kuva Larveling. It is Cassini on Saturn, the ordinary mission, it doesn't have to be Steel Path. Uh, what you basically need to do is pick a Warframe corresponding to the element that you want. So, let's say Saren, Nidus, uh, and then let's say some other two Warframes are going to be Toxin, uh, then Frost is going to be, for example, Cold Elemental, uh, Volt Electricity, Ember, Chroma, uh, and Aros is going to be Fire. Now. And there's also a full list on screen right now that you can see of which Warframe gives which elemental uh, damage type to your weapon once, of course, you get it. Uh, so I would prefer going for Toxin. It is my personal preference. Uh, but if you want to get Ephemeras, a pretty cool one, which is the electricity one, you can go play with an electrical Warframe and then uh, swap it out or uh, fuse it with another uh, weapon of the same variant later down the line. So... Well, I'm using Saren in the gameplay for Toxin because Toxin is one of the better uh, ways or I guess the better status type that you can get. Uh, go on Cassini, do the capture mission itself and then kill a bunch of enemies until the Kuva Laurelling spawns. You will see an icon, it looks sort of like the assassination target so it's pretty hard to miss. Uh, and you have two options here. Uh, if you didn't get the weapon that you want, you can completely ignore it and just finish the mission uh, as if nothing happened. Then that weapon will drop out of the uh, Kuva Lich, I guess, or, or weapon rotation of the Kuva weapons. And there is no chance of you getting it until you fully run through the list. Uh, or I guess, yeah, fully go through the list or accept another weapon that you maybe get uh, further down the line. If you do like the weapon, hold X on the target, you will assassinate it, you leave the mission, and then your Kuva Lich spawns with their own unique name, ephemera, look, uh, and of course, a certain percentage on status. Now, I got myself a Kuva Zar with 32% uh, toxin damage, which isn't the best, uh, but it's okay enough. I think the lowest you can go is 25, but I'm not quite sure on that, you can correct me if I'm wrong. And now your Kuva Lich spawned, and then it's gonna occupy Earth. Uh, it's gonna you're gonna see Earth all in red, blood soaked, and uh, occupied by your Kuva Lich. You play these missions preferably with a squad because uh, you can get more Murmurs to spawn. Now, what are Murmurs? Murmurs are enemies, I guess, allies to your Kuva Lich that you need to kill and execute with your Parazon, and then you will fill up the Murmur Bar which will unlock or I guess reveal one of the three Requiem mods that you need to actually uh, kill the Kuva Lich. Now, uh, these missions, I would prefer you do it like this. So let's say in my situation, I farmed up my Kuva Lich with Saren so I can get Toxin, but the actual mission types I play with a tankier Warframe such as, uh, of course, Revenant and a really good weapon because the levels of these increase, I think, from... 60 to 100 so you're gonna need a little bit of a tank your warframe uh, for example revenant for example you can use even maybe baruch seems like a pretty good warframe you can use basically any tanky warframe that you have and then play through these missions and hunt down these murmurs uh, of course the average murmur spawn is i think 
five, if I'm correct, in like shorter missions such as capture, sabotage, uh, rescue, and extermination. But I may be wrong here, so again, correct to me if I'm wrong. Uh, but you should be able to fill up uh, the first one pretty easily with like two missions or so, so you do not have to worry about that. Playing with friends is always going to be uh, better and more efficient. Uh, when the Kuva Lich actually spawns inside of your mission, she can turn. Um, I guess enemies around her into Kuva Murmurs, so or Kuva Larvelings, I guess, miniature things, Murmur, I'm gonna call them Murmurs, but they're much easier and uh, more correct. They're gonna turn the enemies around them into Murmurs, a couple of them, not a lot, maybe two or three, um, and then you can get some extra, I guess, um, I guess some extra bar percentage, I guess would be the correct term, and uh, basically, yeah, so. Once you have a recu a revealed at least two of your mods, then you can sort of try out your luck with this, with assassinating your uh, Kuva Lich. If you fail the sequence, because it had those mods have to go in a sequence, it's not um, exactly the sequence that there are mods were revealed in, it is a random sequence of three uh, of the mods, of course, that were revealed to you, and you can try out your luck, so see what you get. If you get the right combination, then yippee that's awesome for you, but if you didn't, uh, your Kuvalich moves on to the next planet, you and go and it levels up as well keep it in mind um it levels up and then you change up the sequence i would prefer you do this because if you don't if you forget to change up the sequence of mods then you're gonna come into another encounter with your kuvalich and basically waste time because you're not going to kill it so, so just change up the sequence uh here at this stage you should already have two mods revealed so you know, put in a random third mod, there's not a lot of Requiem mods, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, there's also the Requiem mod Ul, or Ul, whatever you want to say, which mimics any other Requiem mod, so you can use that one if you have it as well. I think it can actually be bought for, on the Warframe market, but I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, then, get the combination right. When you get your combination of mods right, Keep in mind that uh, the Kuva Lich and also Sisters can max up at level 5. They cannot go beyond level 5, uh, so uh, you keep that in mind. And uh, they shouldn't have because when you get um, to level at least 4, you then you then I'm pretty sure you already know the sequence of the mods. So, your Kuva Lich appeared, you have the right sequence, you're 100% sure. Your Kuva Lich appears, you kill your Kuva Lich. Uh, with it, your pairs on, uh, and then it moves in to Railjack. Now, uh, when it moves to Railjack, it's going to go to the Saturn Proxima. You do not need to have uh, Saturn Proxima unlocked for to actually for you to play it. You can just play when when your Kuvalich goes there. I guess you can tax yourself basically. Uh, you do need a decently equipped Railjack, nothing too special, so you don't have to worry about that. But the reason why I'm showing not showing any builds or stuff like that is. Because basically this is not that difficult, honestly. Just bring your best weapon, Warframe, and uh, upgrade your Royal Jack a little bit with health armor and some decent turrets. And basically that is it. So you don't have to worry about that that much. That's why I'm not showing any builds. Now, when you go into Railjack, you're basically going to be thrown in with a squad or alone. I would prefer with a squad, believe me, I love playing with a squad. Uh, you do have to wait until all four liches are killed from each one of your squad mates, but they, honestly, I would sacrifice the extra time uh, to get that, I guess, extra support from your teammates. And one of the greatest Warframes you can possibly pick for this fight in Railjack is going to be Banshee with her sonar ability. She is very good, she creates weak spots, and basically the Kuvaliches are gonna die in a couple of seconds with all four of you shooting them. So Banshee is a great Warframe to have here. At least you are gonna die probably more because Banshee is squishy as hell, but nonetheless making the enemies, or the Kuvaliches in this case, having a weak spot, a lot of them, is incredibly useful, believe me. So, you have to destroy, I think, I had to destroy 57, uh, I guess, enemy ships, and then destroy three crew ships, which you do with the massive cannon behind the driver's seat, so keep that in mind. And, um, yeah, basically that is it. You kill uh, those little ships, then the massive ship that you're going to board unlocks, you go to it, you enter the ship, and then one by one you kill your Kuva Liches or convert your Kuva Liches. Now, if you kill them... Uh, or I guess execute them, uh, you will get their weapon. And if I'm correct, and I think I am, 
And when you convert your Kuvalich, you can get the you will get the ephemera and also you will be able to sell that Kuvalich. So there you go. Keep that in mind. I usually execute them because I'm mostly hunting Kuvaliches for weapons. Uh, so yeah. Uh, but basically that is it you can choose either one to uh, or either one of those and then once the mission has been finished you enter your real jack you run away with your buddies uh you will have the weapon built uh, inside of your um what's called the crafting station yes uh, fully built without any requirements needed and then all you need to do is basically level it up uh, to 30 and then form it five times uh, because kuo weapons have a max level of 40 of them I'm not sure if I said that, but now you know. And then basically your level, uh, your weapon is maxed out. So, there you go. That was the full Cool Village Guide. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. I always, always appreciate it on this channel. Uh, greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one. The Gaming Weasel, over and out.